Hello everyone, this is Panda. Uh, welcome to the new wagon setup. I did it to the new wagon. So with that said everyone, please do subscribe, like, and share the content. If you want to support the channel, there are PayPal, Cash App, Rainbows, and other sorts of links. Save 5% off. If you shop at Sunway Photo, if you're a photographer, videographer, or a hunter, or anyone that just wants some pretty cool gadgets, like the QC, CQC01 quick release. I'm using the Sunway Photo PCR01 uh, uh, cinema uh, smartphone cage. Yeah. Together, quick release for a phone. Yeah. But also use my Samsung S21 Plus as my cinema camera. That's what I do to all my phones. But I digress. With that said, everyone, let's get to the wagon, shall we? I got a little stuck there and we're trying to advertise this. <laughs> but anyway, um, as you can see, this is. Why do I have this set up? Well, I want to be easy and available, but I want to be able to also lock it down. So, all the light stands, you can see, you also got a, a clip to keep them together, but also a, a bungee cord going across. And plus, there's more bungee cords. I will go across and loop at the lunch for a second here. Look at this, I got the Sunway Photo CC01, or I mean 02, uh, clam. But I should pull this out a little more like this, so you guys can see me a little bit more. So I probably would do that and just, yeah, that's better, right? And then have you guys like mount it right here, oh yeah. Pretty cool, right? Anyway. That's just some of the ideas you can do with the wagon. But right now, I did some modification. And yes, I've been messing with it so it doesn't make sure the JBL doesn't stick to the other side. But I put it at the joint area where it doesn't touch or connect to where it has to turn. So it's, it's trust me, I did a very good job. Everyone was surprised I was here. I added some JBL underneath too. Right underneath there. And both sides, except for the, the brakes. Wasn't able to do the brakes, but at some point I'm gonna try to get to the brakes and somewhere I'm gonna try to add some JBL on that side. The whack can kind of like tilt in a little bit on both sides. Now, yeah. kind of interesting, don't you think? When most of the weight are, is in the, the left and the right. But with that said, everyone, set up, got the softbox available, tripods. So this is the plan. So yeah, now I, I'm still not a big fan of this joystick or this handle because it's, it just feels too cheap, friends. And it does, it is cheap. It's plastic. Uh oh, dogs are fighting over there. But it's, it's too cheap and, it, and it's plastic. It should, have, it should have been like wood or something. I don't know, or a better metal or like a, yeah, this, this, this feels cheap. It just feels like it is going to break by the, the overall stress and like pulling such weight. Your weight can vary, right? And what happens is these rivets are not strong enough either. Look at this handle. Look at this. Why can't they add this one? This one is better. You think I can modify it and put this one on that one? But you see the rivets? It's on the left to right, and that one's from top to bottom. Yeah. Damn. See, this one has grip. This one is slippery as hell. It has no durability. It doesn't feel durability. It feels cheap and sl slimsy. Yeah, but you got to deal with it. But what I'm going to try to do is like, uh, 
super glue the, the, the edges and then put some type of like harden around it so it could be like really solid. Yeah, I wanna like do something very, very creative with this handle. Since the brand decided to make, give us a cheap handle, I'm gonna make the cheap handle into a premium handle by just using this as like a, a model structure or like a dummy and just like coat it with something stronger. Yeah, and I do got gold paint. So, ah. Oh yeah. I do that, I do got the gold spray. Yeah, I'm gonna tag it up. Panda's been here. <laughs> but here's the gimbals, softbox, like I said. Easy access, but when locking it down, I won't show that on camera because that's my secret to find the lock. Cheap bungees of Amazon. What I want you to do before using them, which I'm gonna take them apart anyway myself, I'm gonna super glue this. Yeah, I'm gonna super glue this part so it stays hard so it doesn't come off. And I think that's a smart idea. Anyway, I went skating and pick up my uh this It looks like studio on wheels, right? It looks like a studio on wheels. But like durability wise, got my light table on the side here, the umbrella. Yeah. But still I don't like that pulling effect. I'm not that should have been and it does roll but you gotta get some momentum and yeah and by the way ladies and gentlemen this will really tire you out in a, in, a, in a heartbeat especially if you have heavier loads this will cause your arm to go into a stress where you're pulling it for too long and you can feel the tension it's like you're getting a workout yeah that means stop because uh and with this wagon i didn't have to worry about that i just pushed it for it it was much easier and much better control where i need to go it was less stress look at my arm it was less stress i didn't bend my arm that much this one i gotta pull my arm backwards and then walk this is why these wagons are not really practical because this is any any position would tell you like you know, well technically you shouldn't be pulling on that wagon I really like how I can literally lock in that uh, handle and push it forward this one look. let me line it up better there you go look see it's lined up there but look how much space left and the sacrifice of the build quality and the width tied in you see how this has like a ball bearing axle up in even though that one, you can literally, it won't drop to the floor. That's the great thing. But this one, it had tension and had a lock system with it. See? A lock system. So you can also, you got to press it hard and then push down hard. This was really loose. So if you do get this wagon, you this here. It's plastic, pure plastic, cheap plastic. You can feel, you can tell it's cheap plastic. Yeah, I feel like painting it fucking gold. Make it pimp it out to something. Make it look better, at least. <laughs> I got that paint. You ever seen my other? Go to my Facebook, go to my uh, painting gallery. You were like, wow, Panda. You got the feminist side of like, yeah, well, you see it. But like, uh, this is some really good stuff, friend. I like this. The Montana, yeah, I like that brand. Yeah, I put that there from uh, Bricks. <laughs> so yeah, go support your local art store, Bricks. But anyway, friends, uh, this is not a promo, but I'm just saying, got it from Bricks, but. Four joints. As you can see, all four joints have them, and I only put it at the joint area where there's a crack. And that's it, because I didn't put it on the top layer of that act, that ball axle that it's sitting on, because that's what's turning the, on the ball bearing. So I just left that alone. Friend, <laughs> you know my MacGyver ass. I love the MacGyver some shit. But uh, anyway, I got the Sunway Photo 70 RGB light as my uh, traffic light at night. So if I turn it on, boom.
you can see them. But I'm very cautious about these, uh, these, uh, these, yeah, this material. It's not thick enough. It's not, it doesn't, it doesn't call quality. It's still thin, in my opinion. It should be a little bit thick at the joint area, so it'd be more strength there. But, uh, yeah, just got to be careful with New York City streets. But I like how it comes with these, uh, hook, uh, what are you going to, see, there's another ring here. And it comes over across, but this is, I got a whole bunch of these bell, uh, bungee cords. I'm going to just go across it. But yeah, so another reason why I set it this way, I want to have e locks on them um, this time. So yeah, got, but other than that, friends, uh, change the ball bearings. I put the low bearing, but the WD-40, got to clean them out. Yeah, got to buy the WD-40, clean these ball bearings out because they've been through the rain a couple of times, so it's time to clean them out properly, like a roller blade. So, emphasizing the roller blade. But I'm still cautious about this crack that appeared earlier. This um, wagon that, uh, I don't know, it's, the pricing is all over the place, friends. But for $200, yeah, this is, in my opinion, quite not worth it if I'm not able to lock the handle or get a better handle than a cheap plastic handle. It's like, what do you guys run out of budget and just say, yeah, we only have five cents left, what we can get, oh, cheap plastic, we can just build a plastic handle and well, yeah, this is, this is just too cheap, guys. This was like a, you know those cheap 99 cent toys you get from the 99 cent store? It would give me blisters because look, here's another thing. You guys may remind you, you see these edges? They can give you blisters over time. If it's not smoothed out, see? This is not a professional wagon if things are not smoothed out, the edges. So now I'm gonna take a sand piece of sandpaper and smooth this out so I won't get blisters from this. And yes, you can get blisters from that. Oh, wow, is it raining? Well, it's supposed to rain later, but I, I digress for everyone. Rain is rain, take with a grain of salt. But uh, yeah. And we were cautious about that because it's the weight. And it seems like this can't support that weight. But maybe this can support the weight since now the wheels are really corner to corner. Unlike this was almost corner to corner. But I like this setup. But. We had a TMZ wagon that the corner, these two back corners were too close where when you turn, it locks up on each other. Or you, when you want to swerve out or go backwards, it will lock up on each other. So, yeah, so I think maybe this would probably be the practical wagon. I don't know, guys. You guys tell me the method for this because this is plastic. I can break this easily. And this is why I'm thinking about what I want to do is, everyone, is like put a rubber grommet here for soft like impact. Like I don't want to put any tension on this plastic. So I think I, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. But this is the wagon. This is the setup. Hope you guys uh, appreciate the. The wagon, but I like how I can keep other shit, other items in here. Yeah, it might be an issue. I don't really want them in the front, so I might just put them somewhere on the side. But we have the yeah. Just don't want the yeah or <laughs> oh my panda. Can't believe it, but yeah, this is the wagon. I just don't like pulling this thing. It's just, it's not very efficient for your body. It's not very practical. I wish to, wish to push it, give people options, but I guess not. I guess I don't have to make my own. Yeah, I'm thinking about DIYing my own. That would be kind of sick project to DIY. But here's the thing: I want it like this. See how straight it is? You see, how there's a gap. Yeah, there's a gap. So. But he, 
see, but d d it's straight, so why is it crooked? Slightly off crooked, everyone. I'm not sure you can tell. So we need to build something that's going to come out. Pew, pew. Look, I have an idea. It's uh, buying two of the CC02 Sunway Photo Super Clamps to mount whatever I'm going to build. Because those clamps are super strong. I, need, I don't need to worry about them failing on me. Ever. <laughs> I literally took those to, I took that clamp to extreme methods, friends. Have you seen any of my live streams? Yeah, it's a really good one too. Get 5% off pen of, the pen of photo. If you shop at Sunway Photo, the links are down in the description for that product, by the way. You, you support me as I'm an affiliate. And also, ah, Junior Apprentice. <laughs> Let's talk about this. Let's talk about this right now. Um, Ray Power. This is why I love Ray Power. Guys, <clears throat> with this, 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 puts, this pushed out the same amount of power of that Amazon 160. And by the way, Amazon denied my review for the product too. Yeah. If you guys want to see that email, if you guys want to see that email, let me just screenshot it real quick. Upload it. Look, look. I'm going to show you guys how Amazon is now in denial. <laughs> we could not post your review. Yeah, there's I'm, no one's solicitating in anything. So what was wrong with find myself as the buyer? <laughs> this is where they fail how to fairly give customers the, the opportunity to express a freedom of speech when making a review and an honest one too. They'd rather accept fake reviews than honest ones. So yeah, they just deny the review. It's first of all, it's not 160 watt. Let's talk about that, by the way. You see this one? This dished out 36 watts total, not 48 watts as they claim, but yeah. But it still worked, right? It still worked. For I noticed that with this product, what is it called? DJ product with the 40, this is a 48 watts, uh, supposed to be fast charger. This charged my iPhone slower than this, and this is a 60 watt, and that's just 10 watts. You know why? It's not because it's just 10 watts. It's constantly delivering 10 watts. It's not fluctuating like some devices like one of these or that 160 watt. It will fluctuate how much watts it should be given. This is why iPhones do not recognize some chargers or cables. And uh, when the Ray Power are stable. This is why I love Ray Power. Look, this is the Ray Power Prime 60 watt 6 port wall charger. And I totally forgot I had this in my belly again. But I need a fast charger. And, I, and this is the best I'm going to get. And I only pay 15 bucks because my Yemen boys up in Bedford Avenue, I call them the, I'm, yeah, let's say it everyone, I called them the Yemen boys. You ever go to the, when you get out the train station at L train on Bedford Avenue in New York City, trust me, they make you the fucking best sandwiches you want. You can give them any sandwich you want to make, they will make it. <laughs> so like, the, uh, but especially Pablo, he, he works, but he understands Arabic, so that's good. See, he, Pablo, he learned. See, he's a, he's a Spanish dude that learned Arabic, friend. There's nothing wrong with learning another language, but yeah, he made me even a sandwich. So, but Bossman gave me this. This is 20 bucks, gave me 5% off. Plus, he's always hooking me up and gave me that sandwich yesterday for $3.50. Normally, you go to any bagel shop that make you make you that sandwich, they charge you at your asshole. Like, yes, that would be eleven fifty. Like, what? Eleven fifty for that shit? Oh, my panda. What is it? Is it, it better be gold? I am better be eating some fucking gold. Yeah, that's what I'm... I'm I'm just saying, everybody, shouldn't pay expensive prices for eating vegetables. <laughs> Seriously, friends. But I digress. But the Ray Power. But yeah, I took it out the Pelican, started using it, and it's been reliable. Oh, now it's raining and drizzling, whatever it wants to drizzle, do whatever. It's. But as I said, everyone, back to the wagon. And, it, and yes, they don't sell that one anymore, I don't think. 
they have a new one, but I checked the website. Oh, this is charge. Have that I've been sitting here. So, with that said, everyone, my wagon experience, and now it's a light drizzle. It's 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 gonna it's gonna light drizzle stop, light drizzle stop, light drizzle stop. That's what's gonna happen. And then it's going to rain heavy later on after 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and then go away. Or, well, stick around to late in the morning hours and then drizzle off in the middle of the night. And by the time you wake up next morning, everything is so dry, but the grass is pretty still wet. You know, that's how it works in New York City. Oh, no. This didn't come off correctly. See, I got Velcro on this. It's supposed to stick. But anyway, guys, I gotta fix that. Yeah, got Velcro on it on the back. <laughs> but it's ridiculous. I think this one was free by Amazon because Amazon dropped the ball not once, not twice, not three times, but five times. Because this should, this should have been priority, and I should have had this yesterday morning. But I didn't get it to after six o'clock. So it goes to show you that there is no. There's no responsibility with like Amazon, really. It's, there's like no one cares. Some people are just very incompetent. And for them not just to be late, two days late, but to still have the package arrive in the evening, it's an insult. But I got my money back and I'm grateful. Uh, thank you, Nikki, for being a very good uh, supervisor and leadership and uh, pointing some, some, some of the problems out at yourself. But I appreciate your time. But everyone, thank you for watching. Talk to you guys in the next one. See ya.